All right, so this is my old fire pit. When we moved in the house, this pit was already here. I've already started tearing it down and loading it up. Over there by my shop, I'm putting a keyhole fire pit, and I'll show you guys that in a bit. Up there on the top of our property, we have another fire pit. It's more for social gathering and stuff like that. But the one that I'm putting back here is gonna be more for cooking, stove testing, stuff like that. Um, Matt O'Dell actually showed a picture on Facebook of the keyhole uh, fire pit. And that got me to thinking that that was probably one of my most favorite fire pit designs. Uh, Steve-O and I had done one when we were down at the river and we just loved it. And uh, we used it over and over and over again until the river area that we were using it flooded completely. Now we did lose our fire pit, but that just brought back some really good memories when I had seen that. So I was already in the process of pulling this fire pit out anyway, and uh, I might as well just do something else with it. So I want to thank Matt O'Dell from O'Dell Outdoors for, uh, for the advice and kind of the little, little mind, mind uh, I guess a reminder i was gonna say something else but my mind went blank so all right well let's keep on keeping on shall we i've got these stones here left to pull out and put them over there and we will be sitting pretty all made out of old stone that I pulled out of the other fire pits not perfect but i don't really care what the pit itself looks like it's what it's gonna do but I'm happy with it. And get rid of the rest of these stones here on it and call All it right. So here is my Walmart tripod. Put over my pit. I love this adjustment bracket. This is sweet. 17 bucks for the pit. I'm digging it. Mm -hmm. All righty. All righty. Well, here is the, I'd say, keyhole style fire pit. I just used the uh, stones from the fire pit yesterday that we I pulled out over there just because I was going to get rid of them. But like I said, Odell Outdoors, Matt Odell, got my mind going because I really, really loved this uh, this design of fire pit that we used before out at the river. So I picked up this tripod here, this little tripod grill from Walmart, $17. It's Ozark Trail. I had to make an adjustment on it up here. You can see that because before it wanted to get stuck every time I pulled this lever down. So now I can move it pretty free and I've got no issues whatsoever. It locks in, tip it forward. Really like that. So what else we did, put this out of the way here, was I picked this up. This was another $17. This is the Ozark Trail Dutch oven. But the difference between this one and the $40 Dutchie that they had set in there This one has feet, so that way you can set it on the coals. And it's got a divoted lid, so that way you can put coals on top of it when you're cooking. So I picked up the Dutch oven for this pit, and I'm pretty happy with it. Later on today, we're gonna be cooking some steaks on the grill for dinner. Um, I went down to our local meat market and picked up some Oh, some ribeyes and some uh, T-bones. So that'll be good. But I just decided to put this over here next to my shop because I'm always out here fooling around anyway. Might as well have a nice little, little fire pit. I think it's cool. Tripod is right here all packed up and I've got this nice little Dutchie right here ready to go. So I'm gonna look up a couple different Dutch oven recipes and I'll be throwing those together. So look forward to seeing those really soon. And this tripod, I'm gonna do another breakdown of it, uh, tearing it tearing it down and setting it up because it is absolutely awesome. Best 17 bucks I've spent so far that I can I can think of almost as good as the 
$50 hot tent that I'm still rocking over there. So I can't complain about that one bit. As always, as always, everyone, thank you so much for coming along. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate that. My kids appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you guys real soon. Take care.